Good morning, ladies. Welcome to your sourdough group. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit. I look like a hot mess right now because I just finished my workout, but this is the time I have to do the video. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brittany Jensen. I'm an online health and wellness coach. I, um, I do a free group at least once a month um, just to kind of give back, give some of my knowledge, let you guys see, um, you know, what it's like to be in one of my groups. And, and then, of course, I, I'm always running longer future groups for those of you who really want to work with me and get serious about making some changes in your life. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so I made a post about sourdough not that long ago. got tons of response on it. And I haven't done a sourdough group. The reason I've decided to do it is because I had tons of people, you know, asking me for the recipe. Here's the thing with sourdough. It's not as simple as just saying, okay, here's the recipe, make it. <coughs> before you make, you, before you can make sourdough recipes, you need a, what we call a sourdough starter. So essentially that's what we're going to learn how, well, that's how we're going to start this group off, okay? I'm going to teach you how to make your own sourdough starter. I'm going to give you a little bit of background here. Um, what okay so sa how sourdough differs from regular bread and i'm telling you right now that that if you get sourdough bread in the store it's not real sourdough it's basically instant yeast bread that they put something sour to, sour in it to make it sourdough real traditionally made sourdough does not use in instant yeast it uses what we call a starter okay and the starter is healthy bacteria um that is going to pre-digest the grain for you. And in the process of pre-digesting the grain, it produces a gas. Carbon, maybe? Not sure. All I know is that's how it rises. Okay, so not only is it um, which is better for you, and I'm going to talk more about that in the group, about why sourdough is better for you. Um, but it's through the process of it pre-digesting that grain, of it eating it, kind of, um, that it produces the gas, and that's what creates it, that's what gives it a rise. It gives it this amazing, chewy, like, I don't even like using the word chewy because that sounds gross, but this amazing texture that regular bread does not have. It gives it this, it, you can make your sourdough as tangy or as untangy as you want. I can teach you about that. Um, I'm just letting you ladies know, you girls are real lucky because it took me probably a year to really, I had no one to ask about sourdough, but the reason I wanted to do sourdough in the first place, I'll give you a little background on this, is because my son had some medical issues that were going on, a little bit of um, some sensitivities, um, and I noticed that when he would eat bread, his symptoms would get worse. <clears throat> so I took him off gluten, get, put him on a paleo diet, of course his symptoms cleared up right away, um, but the kid loves bread, we love bread, bread is delicious, you know? Um, and so I searched long and hard, did research, and I found that I found out that people, um, even celiacs who have a severe gluten uh, um, allergy, could eat long fermented, traditionally made sourdough bread. And the reason I'm calling this group "What Would Jesus Eat?" sourdough is because this is the kind of bread that they ate in those times. This is the kind of bread that humans ate since the beginning of bread. Um, and it wasn't. It was only until about 50 years ago that we. Um, about 50 years ago is when we created instant yeast and we really did ourselves a disservice because right about that time is when a lot of uh i don't know health issues i feel like started popping up too i mean it's contributed not to more than just instant yeast but the fact that we eat so much bread products and our bodies essentially are pretty much not able to digest them contributes to leaky gut things like that probably don't know what leaky gut is we'll talk more about that later okay but right now let me just give you some info on what you're going to need got my little notes here talked a little bit about sourdough but i'll talk more about it um in the group along with the health benefits talk about what you need to get started you're gonna need some sort of container i put i like to use a mason jar for mine um try to avoid making my breads in um plastic containers again it's not the end of the world but just because it is like an acidic um you know that sour Sourness is going to sit it, that fermentation process. So I, I don't really know how it reacts with the plastic. So I personally use glass. I use a mason jar. Um, you're going to need whole grain rye flour. So most of you can, should be able to find that at a grocery store near you. If you're not sure if they have it, call ahead. Like I call the grocery store and I'm like, hey, do you have this? You know, if you don't waste a trip. You need unbleached um, white flour as well, which you can get at any grocery store. Um, so yeah, any kind of rye flour that you can find is fine. You're not going to need a ton of rye flour. We're going to use that to, to start the starter, and then we're going to switch it over to white flour, okay? I have read that depending on your water, you may, your, like, tap water may not be great. I personally have well water with, like, a filter. Mine's fine. Somebody told me that sometimes waters in certain city waters might have chemicals that could inhibit the sourdough from working. 
Um, so if you're concerned about that, just get like some distilled water in a jug. Um, I'm not, like I said, I haven't had that problem, but I have well water. So I um, just want to give you girls a heads up on that. Um, oh, and this kind of, it's honestly, the starter, creating the starter, it's kind of like, it's going to take you almost a week to get to where you're ready to make the bread, okay? Um, where, this little starter, it's going to be like a little animal, okay? You're going to feed it starting once a day, and then when you're ready to make start making recipes, like a bread or something, you're going to make it twice a day. I'm going to teach you how to make bread. I'm going to teach you how to make pancakes. I'm going to teach you how to make cinnamon rolls. I'm going to teach you how to make pizza dough. Every, any of those, yeah, waffles, pancakes, I mean, anything. All that stuff I make with sourdough. Every, every all of it, and it's all delicious. Um... And like I said, I don't need a ton, a ton of grains, but when I do, most, unless I'm like at a, you know, a special occasion, a birthday party or something like that, you know, like I'm eating sourdough. Um, yeah, so anyways, get your kids involved. It's, it's fun to kind of like make it like kind of like a science experiment with them and like help them learn about it and, um, yeah, it just gets them involved. And when I get my kids involved, then they're more interested in like wanting to eat the food, you know. Um, also, okay, so I do these groups for free. All that I ask of you guys is that you participate. Um, like I said, I have spent tons of my time, like, researching this knowledge, and I'm giving it to you guys for free. And I really don't ask anything of you other than, like, just to participate, because these groups, I want them to be fun, and, and, and that's just, when people engage, that's when you're really gonna learn. When people are engaged, and we're all having a good time, and, like, let's just make this, like, a really fun little group, and how we're gonna do that is if I'm not the only one talking all the time. So, you know... Every day, I'm going to make a post in the morning. Check in under it. Let us know how you're doing. Um, you know, we're going to be able to kind of help each other learn through this process. So don't always just send me the question immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like, ask the question under the check-in post. If you need me specifically to see something, tag me or else I won't see it. Um, but, yeah, try to let's try to answer each other's questions in the group before you message me personally or else I could have, like, 100 people messaging me a day, you know. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a little participation contest. So right now you can get five points um, just commenting below, checking in, and say something like, um, yeah, I'm ready to make my Jesus bread or something, something fun, okay? Um, so five points for that. Keep checking your own points, and then at the end um, there will be a prize. Um, I don't know, something bread baking related or sourdough related, I'm not sure yet, but it'll be a prize. It'll be cool. Um, invite your friends. If you guys know anyone who you want to learn, who you think would be interested in this, add them to the group. All right, let's make it a big fun group. I think that's it. So I'm just going to be finishing adding everybody into the group. I'm going to tag everyone on this video so that, um, just so I, I know that they've seen this and they know what the heck I'm talking about and how the heck the group's going to work. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody is excited. We're going to start Wednesday, I think. So tomorrow I'm going to post, um, I'm going to give you day one instructions, but you can actually do day one on Wednesday, but I'm going to give them a day ahead so you have time to like prep or, you know, you can plan on when you want to feed your little, your little starter. So, okay. I hope everybody is ready and excited to learn about sourdough. Bye girl.